But I promise you this is so far from anything that you've ever been to. And now. All right, Pear has a question about getting out of scale. He's been in scale too long. So he sells a lot of homes, but he's not growing past that. So a lot of you are in the ramp or scale. That's kind of where we attract most of our clients, people that are on fringe, kind of leaving ramp. They kind of, the wheels are rattling and the foundation is real shaky and, and uh, folks that are selling 75 to 125, 150 homes and they're having Challenges getting out of production and moving to the next level. So um, let me go through real quick, just walk through sort of ramp phase um, and, and how that felt for me. And then I'll go through scale phase and what was required. Ultimately, you want to be looking ahead. So um, at, if you're in scale, you want to be, what do I need to do to become a better leader is the question. That's how you get out of, of scale. But um so in the ramp, you're doing two to six homes per month, feeling hopeful, time isn't your own, can't unplug, doing it all yourself. Um, you gotta, you gotta be able to delegate, elevate. That's key in the ramp phase. So there's still things that are going on that are on your, um, daily work, work list that are way lower than $25 an hour. So you've got to decide what activities you're going to focus on. Um, a really good admin hire, getting relief from buyers. Um, all the things that you can hire out at less than 50 bucks an hour, including anything with buyers, anything admin related, you've got to get off your, off your plate. Most agents will never move past the ramp phase. All real estate agents that are really good are doing two to three homes per month. And that's where they just live. Um, obviously that's not this, this, uh, this group. So, um, this is where overwhelm. So scale is the most challenging phase, phase. You're, uh, in the business all the time. Home life is suffering. Um, you need buyer agent talent, but you probably don't have the systems in place to, to be able to do it. You're still a major producer, which is exactly what Pear is. Um, building systems is the key. Admin staff, the right admin staff getting in place. You're probably hiring a second admin if you're on the top end of mid to top end of scale. Um, and vision and core values and hiring and firing against them, I would say is the, is the key there. Uh, delegate and elevate. Delegate and elevate. If you read the book Traction, which is another good book, um, Gina Wickman has delegate and elevate in there. And that, that's the key is just get, shedding the things, uh, including, you know, for you pair on the listing side, if you're able to set listing appointments, you may be, you've got to firm up your buyer side, make sure that's producing uh, consistently. Make sure your listing system is truly a system and it's not pair going in and dazzling uh, everyone, but there's a process that happens without you that anyone could go in and take those listing appointments. So that's the key thing is to build up, strengthen your buy side with accountability, tracking, make sure you have the right agents on that side that are doing the activities that are leading to production. And then second is make sure the listing system is truly a system and it's not a personality. It's all, it's, it, it can't revolve around pair, the personality. It has to be the system, a listing getting system. So those tactically, those are the two things that you need to have happen. And then you can train as you're beefing up the talent on your buy side. One of those buyer agents are going to step up and identify themselves as a quality listing agent. Just make sure they have the D, the, the, the drive or the ability to be decisive and, and lead their clients to the right choices on price and to be able to close. That's the biggest thing I've seen people make the mistake is getting the wrong person to replace them on the listing side. But for you, it could be a two-step. It could be you getting out of the actual listing appointments and you just setting the appointments because you crush that. And then getting someone to get on, get on those appointments or replacing yourself on the inside sales, hire someone to do what you already do really great. And then you continue to go on the listing appointments and then ultimately replace yourself there. Right? And then learn everything you could possibly learn about leadership. I would say that I, I didn't start until I was in the exit phase, well into the exit phase to learn about leadership. So learn how to be a better leader. There's a big difference between leading and managing. And obviously the intensive will, will help you there.